Salmonellosis is bacterial infection. It is second most common foodborne infection. It means it is transmitted via undercooked food. Usual source are undercooked turkey and chicken and poultry generally, also undercooked eggs and dairy products and other types of meat. So salmonella infection is very common, it transmitted very easily and affects millions of people worldwide each year. What are the symptoms of salmonella? Symptoms usually occur af after six hours from ingestion of bacteria and most common symptom is diarrhea. This diarrhea is usually mucoid or sometimes it can be bloody diarrhea. Vomiting and abdominal cramps and nausea is common also. Uh, vomiting is more common among children, young children and fever also common and generally these symptoms last for four days, four to seven days and in most cases it resolves without any complication and without any problem in four to seven days. But here is very important fact that we need uh, adequate hydration. Even uh, this disease is not very lethal and deadly, it still causes lots of deaths each year and most commonly it affects children and older people whose immune system is not adequate and immunocompromised patients. And what is cause of death in case of salmonella? Usually it is because of sepsis, it means bacterial multiplication in the blood and multi-organ failure. Also uh, dehydration is important a cause of death among young children. So rehydration therapy is most important type of treatment. And treatment in rehydration and electrolytes is where it's very crucial. In severe cases, hospitalization is needed and intervention intravenous fluids along with antibiotics. And when we say rehydration for infants, it will be a frequent breastfeeding or frequent offer your kid formula frequently and if a kid is already older or adult people um, important is uh, oral rehydration solutions oral rehydration therapy is very crucial because during diarrhea person loses water loses electrolytes and it can cause malfunction of even heart and nervous system of course and um, wh what is best practice of prevention? It's um, hand washing, frequent hand washing, and also avoid undercooked meat and undercooked food. Uh, what are the red flags? What, what indicates that it's serious infection? Uh, when uh, diarrhea is persistent and severe with watery or bloody content, lethargy, weakness, irritability, and inability to feed especially among children. Uh, and um, at this case, hospitalization is uh, required and hospitalization is advised, of course, because of um, in, in hospital, it's possible uh, to give kids intravenous fluids and rehydration via uh, intravenous and antibiotics if needed, of course. <coughs> How we diagnose salmonella. We diagnose salmonella with stool culture and stool culture is considered gold standard of diagnosis but it requires several days so it's not comfortable in many cases and sometimes time is um, important and um, we have also two antigen tests uh, and in this case we have uh, results in 30 minutes <clears throat> and blood culture also needed if there is sepsis already. Uh, and about antibiotics, some people think that antibiotics is first line treatment. It's not true. Antibiotics is not required in most cases. And if it's required in immunocompromised patients or in older adults or in young children, it can be first line treatment. But in rare cases, <clears throat> it depends on condition of uh, patient. Uh, if there is severe disease, if there is severe symptoms, antibiotics, uh, can be indicated but in most cases symptoms are 
mild, so uh, patient uh, doesn't need any, any anti antibiotics. And when antibiotics are used, they are um, first line uh, treatments are fluoroquinolones like cifrofloxacin and levofloxacin. And uh, cifrofloxacin and levofloxacin are used in older adults and in children azithromycin is used. And about vaccine, and people asking that if we have vaccine, we have no vaccine because we have many strains, many serotypes of this bacteria, over 2,500 serotypes. It means that it's very difficult and complex to create vaccine for so many serotypes of um, bacteria and this vaccine should be effective and safe and it's too difficult. <coughs> also, uh, salmonella is not so serious disease that we need a vaccine as an emergency, so no need for most people. And also people asking if we have immune response after, uh, after we get already this infection and uh, after recovery, if immune response uh, or if um, immune memory is created in our body. Yes, we have some type of memory, uh, especially for specific serotype of uh, salmonella, but as we said, we have more than 2,500 serotypes of salmonella, so uh, reinfection cases are common and it's not, um, it's not rare. That's all I wanted to um, say salmonella. What is most important uh, here? Salmonella is bacterial infection and second most common foodborne infection. Uh, it's very important. And undercooked turkey, undercooked chicken and undercooked um, poultry are risk factors um, and unpasteurized milk also. Uh, especially you should be careful among young children who requires um, aggressive rehydration therapy because they losing lots of water um, during diarrhea water and electrolytes <clears throat> thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now